All right, hello everyone. This is going to be another food shortage video, but I'm using, uh, I'm doing a new store that you guys had not seen. Not a grocery store, it's more like a department store where I can go get cheap stuff. And uh, I want to thank my friends over at Six Acres for um, for endorsing this video. How about that? Endorsing and, and partnering with us. And um, you know, without further ado, let's throw it over to Six Acres. All right, thanks again to Six Acres for partnering with us. We're going to be doing some more videos together. And uh, without further ado, let's get into our shopping experience. All right. Oh, and um, I'll just show you guys. I bought some I bought some preps. And I don't know if you'll be able to see them in the video or not, but I bought this bag. And it is stuffed with a lot of stuff. <laughs> some things that we need. We're going camping this weekend, so I saw a few lights and... and um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to pick them up. And I got Jennifer a really nice Snuggie that she's going to love. So anyway, you should be able to see those uh, while we're in there. All right, take care. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so we're going to walk into this store right here. I don't even know if you can see it or not. Name of it is Roses. And this is usually where I go and buy, like, my shaving equipment. So, but they sell food in here also. So let's see what they have. All right, so uh, this is also a place where I come and get, like, warm gear for winter um i used to tell the prices are you know pretty um inexpensive i mean that's a nice little heavy wintry fall type um sweater type thingy i don't even know what to call it but um stuff like this you know i like to get for winter i don't like pullovers though i love these right here you know if it's not a tremendously cold day, if it's like in the 40s and 50s, this is good for me right here. And you can see a $10 little jacket type thing. Perfect. Now, this one's a little more heavy than the other ones. I like that. And plus, it's orange. So, uh, and of course, they have their winter gear up there on the wall. And you can get long johns in here. And I think this should be a... That's called a Cherokee. I thought this might be, um, cause sometimes they'll sell Carhartt in here. Okay. But a $40 jacket and this is like heavy duty material right here. This is like, you know, construction working material. Uh, usually I buy jeans in here. I don't see the jeans now, but we'll walk around. You guys just stay out here. Yeah. So you can see $10 jeans. I buy these Wranglers all the time. I mean, perfect for what I do and what I'm looking for. Here's some more little sweatshirt vest type thingies, the little zip ups. These are more thin than the other ones on the other side. So they range between seven and nine. If I was gonna buy one, I would buy one on the other side of these long sleeve shirts. You know, some good winter gear and also good prep material, okay? Here's some more, these are not as thick as the other one, this green one is though. Green one's very thick. And you can get long johns in this place. Let's see if they have any. I don't really wear long johns because they make me way too hot. Great prep item, okay? You can't ever have, and I keep saying this, and it's funny because Canadian Prepper just put up a, uh, a video talking about underwear doing SHTF. And I say that all the time. I always say you can't ever have too many underwear. I say it all the time. As a matter of fact, anytime my wife asks me for birthdays or Christmas, what do I want? I like t-shirts, underwear, socks. T-shirts, underwear, socks. Because you can't never have enough. Sleep pants, okay? Six bucks. And this all, you know, this is all new stuff. Now, of course, you can go to the thrift shop and you can get stuff that's, you know, much cheaper. But um, I guess they don't have any long johns now. Which I would, I would expect for people to come here and buy the stuff up. Hats. Now that's one thing I do love having during the winter. Right. Get cozy and some great deals. Find our gold cake All right. 
it's over here. I'm going to go over here so you guys can see. All right, so plenty of hats. I favor these types right here. Uh, that's actually a polo. <laughs> this is a name brand. And it's only four bucks. All right, y'all see that? A four dollar hat that's going to keep your head warm. Uh, I favor the, this type, right, this style right here. But I will go with these. These seem to be, be a thicker, um, heavier material than these. These usually are thinner. Either one of them, when it gets cold, are perfect. I'm surprised they're so cheap, though. $4? Okay, so I did find the, um, the thermals. Now, if I, if I am going to wear these, I'll wear these to bed and sleep, sleep in these. But um, let's see what size. Okay, so $4, y'all. Four dollars for some thermals can't beat that okay and that's of course that's the is that the tops yep that's the tops and the bottoms are right here so for eight bucks you got some thermals which are great prep items by the way especially when power is down and you're cold all right so let's go over here to what we came for we're just shaving materials. Okay, you also, when you're married, you have to know your spouse. Now, I'm in the lingerie section, and I see this little pink thing over here, this little boussier that I would love for Jennifer to wear. However, I know I'm practical, and I know my honey. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get her one of these onesies. Now, the, the only thing is, I think they're really cute because you got a bare face. I don't even know what the heck this is. I guess that's a, a llama or something. And then you have an elephant, looks like. I guess that's what this is. Y'all see that? So, me being me and me knowing my wife. What is this one? Okay, that's the elephant. So, I'm going to get her the little bear because I know she's going to love it. Okay? So, you can't beat that for 10 bucks. And it's going to keep her warm. And it's about to get really cold. And she's going to love that. Trust and believe. So, if you're watching this, men, listen to me. Listen to me very closely. All right. <clears throat> this here would be fun. And then she'll be snuggled up to me all night. Okay. Or I can get something like this. And she's going to be warm. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to be practical. Make sense? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Let's check out the foods. They used to have pretty good, um, pretty, pretty good food selection. Oh, this is awesome right here. Oh, these are a dollar. I thought it said a dollar. Well, it does say a dollar. So I'm wondering. It says $1.50 on the can. So you got these huge cans of 28 ounces. I see why, because a lot of them are dented. So they probably own sale. 27 ounces um, of spinach. Okay. Good Lord, that's a huge can of sweet peas. That's a six pound can of sweet peas. You got chili over here. Diced potatoes, now $3. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's a huge can of potatoes. That's six pounds of potatoes for three dollars. What y'all think? Y'all think I should get some? I didn't come in here for preps. Came here for. All right, so we got sauce. We got ravioli. Okay. We got tuna fish. All right. Okay. And then you have name brand cans. Okay. Y'all see all that? So this is another place where I, where I do come sometime and I get some preps, all right? 65 cents a can for corn, 65 cents a can for sweet peas. Diced potatoes, and then you got, this is great. I say $7.99 for a big old huge thing of chili. We don't eat this kind of stuff. So I would, yeah, I'm going to pass on that. But you got 50 cent salt, 
which is a great prep item. Okay, always good to have. Um, always good to have salt. Okay, it's something you can always trade. It's never gonna go bad. It might get, you know, it might stick together. You may have to crush it and break it apart. But 50 cent salt. Okay. I think I paid 30 cents the other day for salt at one of the places. I can't remember. They got sugar, which is another good prep item. Flour, another great prep item. Okay. Let's go down this aisle. Let's see. Cereal. Oh, we don't really eat cereal. Pop tarts. We really don't eat that either. All right. So we got chicken noodle. Sweet peas, I don't even know how much those are. Okay, 50 cents a can for chicken and rice. Okay, so, good prep items down here. Fruits, okay. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. This thing is heavy on my shoulder. Let me turn the camera so y'all can see. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm recording. So let me turn it around. This thing is really, really hot. I said heavy, I meant hot. This thing is really hot, y'all. So Jennifer's gonna love it because she's always freaking cold. Okay. Comfort foods, comfort foods. Okay. Um, good prep item if you are um, hooking up power for something. Great prep item right here. Five dollar cables. Let's see what else. Okay. All right, ladies. Great prep items. All right, not only for feminine hygiene, but this is a great prep item for uh, first aid. Okay clotting blood, things of that sort, and it's great for, um, of course, feminine hygiene. Oh, also, I'm gonna try something too. I just learned the other day that if you put out Irish Spring, if you, let me see if they have my razors. Looks like they don't have my razors. So that's the only reason I came in here was for razors. So I just ordered some online, but I always like to keep razors stocked up. Um, but I learned the other day about Irish Spring, so we're gonna try this trick with Irish Spring. Now this is interesting. You got two bars for a dollar, and you have three bars for two not two dollars. So then you have to look at the ounces. You have to look at what you're getting. So that's two. That's three point two ounces. That's three point seven. So you're paying way more for three than you are for two. So what I'm gonna do? Um, I heard this. This was good to keep mice away. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these home, I'm gonna cut them up and stage them in various parts of, of the house just to help with uh, rodent control. We're gonna see. We used, to have, uh, we used to have mice bad when we first moved into our house, but over the over period of time, we've kind of, we've kind of really done a lot of work to keep them out. <laughs> but um, anytime, you, anytime you have a house, remember, the, uh, the bugs, the rodents and all that, they were there first. And you build on top of them, so you really invaded their spaces. So I was trying to come back here and look at normally they have garden and stuff. Oh yeah, here it is back here. So things that you should have, things that you need to stock up on, things that you need to have in your arsenal. Shovels, all right. Eight dollar shovel, you can't beat it. Rakes, eight dollar rake, you can't beat it. Holes, okay. Eight dollar hole, you can't beat it. All right. Because why? If and when SHTF happens, those are things you're going to need to have. All right, you're going to have to have those because you're not going to um, you're not going to have the conveniences of tillers and all the other kind of crap. All right. So let's see here. Some more. I wish the dog on music wasn't so so loud because every time that ha well, I ain't gonna say every time that happens, but the last time that happened, my video was um, was tagged. So anyway, um, I might end up having to voice over this whole trip, which would suck. But anyway, we'll put it up. We'll try. We'll see what happens. If I get flagged, I get flagged. Hopefully not. All right, so the kitty's going to have a great Christmas because somebody's going to come in here and spend too much uh, money on a whole bunch of cheap crap from China. Uh, I'm just walking around just to show you guys the plant-based homestead preppers mindset of 
the way I see things when I'm shopping. Home sweet home. Perfect for the ways. Oh, that's cool for a dog. Plus, we're going camping this weekend. And um, even though I have plenty of stuff, I'm always looking for, you know, more. So anyway, they didn't have my, uh, oh, that's neat. Emergency red flasher work light. That is cool. It's not going to go home with me, but it is cool. So they didn't have my, um, or they don't have my uh, my razors here. So, hey, it's no sense in me walking around anymore. So we will see you guys next time, okay? Thank you all for watching.